let's maybe all of us spend a bit of time talking about the new phrase of public money for public goods. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps you can help us uh, understand exactly what that's going to mean for for farmers. But this seems to be the heart of of trying to uh, combine our environmental goals with ongoing support for uh, the farming community now that we've left the common agricultural policy. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about that? Or what, more importantly, what are the NFU's thoughts about it? Well, yeah, I mean, so we're, we're, you know, this is uncharted territory. We're moving now from a situation where um, farmers are subsidised on the area of, of land that they farm. Obviously, they have to do, um, you know, environmental steps as well in order to to secure that payment, but um, they're subsidised on the area of land that they, they they farm essentially, and that's being done away with um, and replaced with payment for essentially for public goods. So whether that is habitat creation, carbon storage, flood water storage, things like that. Um, so it's a very very different model of farming, and that will be the only source of public money available for farmers in the future, um, which is it's yeah it's a serious undertaking, it's a, ser a serious challenge. And I think I mentioned earlier the lack of clarity. This is what about one thing we really don't have a great deal of detail on. Um, so we know that um, you know farmers like Frey will, will be paid in the future for, for environmental outcomes, but we don't know about how much, um, how it's going to be measured, um, time scale, things like that. Um, so it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big worry. I think there are lots of opportunities, but um, until we know more detail, it's, uh, it's very difficult to, to say a great deal. I, I got a, uh, an introduction to that quite early on. It was a, at a farm, not yours, Freya, and a farmer was telling me that, um, and I, I shouldn't use the word jobs were, so we will say some inspector came and, and was measuring that whether it was within a metre or a metre and a half of a hedge where something had or hadn't happened, and because it was slightly mm -hmm. over, then that payment wasn't due, and suddenly the money all went went away. Is this going to be just a, is this public money for public goods going to be just a big headache for you, Freya? Are you worried it's going to be a big headache for you? It is going to be a big headache for us because we've got to change the whole way of farming basically. I think farming over the next 10 years will probably not be recognisable as to how we see it today. Um, everything seems to be hinging on the environment and environmental issues rather than food production. Um, the two I think can work well hand in hand. Um, but at the end of the day, I think we're going to be farming for the environment. The food side will be on the sideline. And I think most farmers to survive will have to look to diversify into other businesses outside of farming because what we get paid for our food production and what we will be paid for the environmental work we do will not cover our costs. Um, and I think it's going to be very hard for our, our industry to survive. And everyone's very worried, especially when we haven't got any detail as to what we're looking at for planning our businesses going forwards.